Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to lock user or you can say that block user to, uh, to consume services. So here we have an example. So just, uh, just I am going to play or you can say start a project. and wait for some times okay so here we have just I'm going to log in into the admin section first of all and here we have that user section and here we have two users that is the staff and the manager just I want to uh, uh, log into the manager section first of all and go for the page log so here we have login section and uh, manager and just go for oops okay so here we have a manager section and just I'm going to uh, handle employee services like uh, create a new employee and employee services like uh, payslip just I want to generate employee payslip uh, payslip and index section so here we have a pay slip that uh, that employee will be used uh, sorry manager uh, will be used and manager is using right now so just i am going to again uh, login section for the admin and here we have an admin section and just i'm going to go for the user and just lock the uh, manager manager at the rate of cmail.com so just i'm going to log out again and go for the uh, manager section again and here we have then you can see that our manager is locked out this account has been locked out uh, please try it and like it so if you are using if you are accessing like uh, employee uh, payslip so uh, payslip index then you will see that uh, it will not redirect to the user the local host page can't be found because account login uh, redirect url is a type of uh, the user that is not found and this is account is actually locked out and if you are logged in again and in the admin section then you will see that you want to open it again okay so how to uh, how to create that type of features in uh, lockout feature and uh, uh, unlock features uh, for the admin. So how to do this uh, in ESP.NET Core lockout. So in under uh, user controller here we have a uh, identity user. So if you are uh, that's that's type of ID that is the route ID. If it is null then return not found. Otherwise first of all get user. Or by their ID property and if it is ID then application user dot lockout end by the date time dot now dot add years that is 1000 years just I want to add uh, 1000 year for the lockout okay so DB dot save changes and in the unlocked feature and you can say that unlocked by ID and application user just, uh, just of all uh, get application user and lockout end again for date time dot now and here we have you can see that lockout end lockout end and just change the lockout end with the date time dot now so date time dot now dot add years for the 1000 second 1000 years and you can say that just add or you can say update some values date time dot now so lock and unlock uh, you can say that so thank you guys for watching this video tutorial and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core